All right, welcome back. In the last video, we plugged in theta b. We found out what theta b was, and we plugged it into our moment equations, and we got these four moments. Now, um, I'm actually going to take the time to draw out our diagram again with these correct moments, and then we can actually figure out the shears, um, and then later on the reactions at a, b, and c, right? So let me actually... Uh, draw out, let's see, we should do this in green. We have joint A, right? That's the fixed end A. Then we have member um, AB, then we have joint B, then we have member BC, then we have joint C. Right, so um, this is A, this is C, we have a roller here, um, and, well, let me just, this is A, this is B, this is B, this is C, this is joint B. Um, on these, these four, let's see, these four equations here, we said that the moment at AB is equal to a positive 18.42. That positive meant our clockwise notation was correct. So we can say that moment AB is 18.42. Okay. Moment BA was 126.83, um, and it was positive, so our clockwise notation was correct. This is 126.83, right? And for BC. It was negative 126.83. So that means our clockwise notation was wrong. That means it's going um, not or counterclockwise. <laughs> counterclockwise. So clockwise is this way. Um, counterclockwise would be this way, right? This is 126.83. And moment. CB, or at the end of C, um, it's 230.58, and that it's positive, so that means our clockwise notation was correct. Um, it is going clockwise. So this is 230.58. All right, so let's actually look at just this diagram now, this diagram that we drew. We have member AB here, and we have 18.42 there. We have 126 here. Uh, let's not forget about our point load that was applied to AB, and this was, I think, 24 kilonewtons. And this member, I believe, was 10, 10 uh, meters, and then this was 14 meters. Uh, remember at BC there was a, a distributed load. Oh, that is one nice looking load. Um, you have all of this. That was 12 kilonewtons per meter. Um, so let's actually, we need to figure out, here's what we need to figure out. We need to figure out what the reaction um, at A is. We need to figure out what the reaction at B is, and we need to figure out what the reaction at C is, right? On member AB, if I drew, let's see, yellow, I'm going to draw a shear. I'm going to assume it to go up. I'm going to call that shear VAB. Same thing on this side. It goes up. I'm going to call it VBA. Um, on member BC, I'm just going to assume it to go up. It's going to be VBC. Same thing on this side, it's going to be VCB, right? I'm just assuming assuming these shears to go up. At joint B, the shear on the left is up, that means the shear on the right is down, right? Equal and opposite, this is VBA. Uh, same thing here, this is VBC, it's going up on the right, it's going to go down on the left, VBC. That means the reaction at B is equal to VBA plus VBC, right? We can actually look at, let's look at member AB. 
and let me write uh, let we need to figure out what VBA is we need to figure out what all these shears are so in order to figure out what VBA is I can take the moment about point A and point A is right there I can say that the moment about point A is equal to zero and I'm gonna assume clockwise to go positive right so that means um, we have this 126 moment right 126.83 plus 18.42 right that's this moment right here uh, then you have a plus this 24 kilonewtons here in the middle that's at distance 5 uh, and then minus VBA times distance 10 um, and that's equal to 0 right if you solve for VBA uh, you'll get a VBA is equal to 26.53 kilonewtons and it's positive that means our assumption was right here um, if we do the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero um, for member AB uh, we see that VAB minus the 24 kilonewtons plus VBA and VBA remember was 26.53 that's equal to zero and if we solve for VAB um, we'll get negative 2.52 kilonewtons so that means our assumption for VAB was wrong it's actually going down okay but let's let's just worry about VB uh, joint B first um, we also need to figure out we need to figure out what VBC is, right? So if I took the moment on member BC, if I took the moment about, uh, let's see, point C, and I'm gonna call point C right there, and that's equal to zero, I'm gonna say, in this case, uh, clockwise is positive. We're gonna get, um, let's see, we have this moment here, it's 230.58 um, minus, 126.83 right and then minus let me do this in a different minus uh, this 12 kilonewton load so 12 times length is 14 the length is 14 uh, times the distance to the centroid is half of 14 it's 7 um, and then you also have VB or CB I'm sorry, uh, V, let me erase this. Uh, even I get confused on this stuff. Um, we have V, B, C, right? You have this shear and that's going clockwise, that's positive. Um, v, B, C times 14, that's equal to zero. So if we solved for V, B, C, let me just make sure um, all of these are right. Uh, VBC is equal to uh, 91.41 kilonewtons. All right, cool. So we know what v, um, uh, VBA is, and we know what VBC is. VBA is 26.53, and VBC is 91.41. Um, and if you add these together, you get the reaction at B. So 26.53, um, plus uh, the 76.59 uh, that means VBA or I'm sorry the reaction at B is 103.12 kilonewtons um, and if we go back to uh, member BC we can actually figure out what VBC or VCB is if we just took the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero uh, that's positive you get um, VCB uh, minus uh, the distributed load which is 12 times 14 plus VBC which is 76.59 uh, is equal to zero you get VCB is equal to uh, 91.41 kilonewtons so that means um, here at C you have VCB going up on this side you have it going down that means the reaction at C 
um, is equal to 91.41 kilonewtons. And the reaction here at A, um, VAB was actually going down, and that was this negative 2.52. And on the other side, it's equal and opposite. That means it's going up. Um, that means, let me just make sure this is right. That means the reaction at A um, is negative, negative 2.52, right? Because this is 2.52 going up, then that means reaction A has to be going down. Um, so now we know the reactions at A, B, and C. Uh, we should be ready to draw our shear and moment diagram. All right, see you in the next video.